our dear partners so we asked women um around our whatsapp community what they would want you men to know during pregnancy and during the postpartum period and these are some of the responses that we got from our women they should encourage us hata mimba ikikuzesha ana amka na kuambia baby you're beautiful yani maneno matamu matamu sio kushinda wakisema imekuzesha anga imekufanya umekuwa black mpaka self esteem tu inashuka it's hard and my house is big inakatu una unakaa tu unasikia akisema nyumba ni chafu ukiangalia huoni cuz i mop three times per week na hakuna mtoto mdogo wa kuchafu wa nyumba mpaka naboeka tu emotional to pregnancy and uh, fourth trimester is real are the same hormones that are making a baby are the same ones that are controlling my emotion and, and body changes please understand my greatest challenge during pregnancy has been balancing home work and my persona since we are in different locations due to work post delivery getting a good night's nice rest while having a newborn and other siblings to have to take care of has been challenging i'm almost 7 months pregnant now i can count the number of days i've seen my husband i'm very new in town now the relatives live in a far distance from where i live wengine nika huwa wamechoka na mtu saa hiyo juu unaona uwezi mpya kitu husbands need to know when pregnant unasumbuliwa na infections it's not like you're dirty or something that it's your fault sometimes just knowing that they don't think it's your fault and telling you makes a difference from experience it made a difference to me and i was not too stressed at any kitoa discharge my hubby would think i'm dirty wa mama tuna shida me was left to take care of myself after being in nbu for three weeks give birth to a premature baby kutoka husim jamaa alika three days akaenda job nimewachwa na two kids going to school with no one to help with all the house chores i even go into depression I even got into depression where 11 weeks now I don't know who helps has a man but acts as if he is not there yani his presence means nothing mtu hataki kujua umekula ama hapana it pains a lot true um some do not care at all thank god niko job so my little pay na jisort nazo tu ingawaje ukiwa na man unafaa ku feel his presence They should learn how to change a diaper. In the first two weeks of pregnancy, a mother rarely catches a break. So diaper or bathing the baby always allows you to at least have 5 minutes to breathe. They should take initiative to learn and provide foods that a nursing mother needs. Please help them understand that mothers need food to nurse. Harassing us to feed baby while hungry is upsetting and buying chips when the nanny is away is unhelpful. I find that for us in modern areas, we don't have the luxury of living with our moms. And so when the nanny is off on Sundays, we really suffer or the initial days when you are not healed and the baby is demanding. They should know that as a mom, I need me time despite having a baby and offer to stay with the baby and allow you to go out on a treat take a breather cuz where they should know new moms get frustrated and sometimes motherhood could be overwhelming and that doesn't make me a bad mom i don't know who told men that when he comes back from work it's only him who is tired as if taking care of the baby minus a help is a walk in the park Our partners should understand that staying at home to parent the child is still work and they should assist when they come home. The misconception that men have is that even if we are tired at night, we can sleep during the day. It's not true. Please support the decisions we make to parent our child. Joining the bandwagon of skeptics is very demoralizing for mothers, especially for a first-time mom. We may not have all the experience in the world, 
but we come to learn what our babies need and constantly having to justify ourselves to them and to in-laws is very exhausting. Honestly, a word of appreciation here and there makes a lot of difference to our confidence and to our morale. Being available physically and helping out in small ways, um, for example, changing diapers, bathing baby, bopping, rocking to sleep, serving food, um, etc. goes a long way in helping a mother feel supported. Sometimes a mom, especially a first-time mom, just wants someone to consult or chit-chat with. And a man intentionally coming home early and offering that support is key um, in recovery. Also, advocating for the mother's comfort. For example, uh, not allowing unnecessary visitors, reminding a new mom to slow down and, and encouraging some self-care. Uh, for example, my husband would stay at home and allow me to take a shower, um, a long shower, or take a walk, and I, and I loved it. Be open. Communicate any challenges or insecurities you may be facing adjusting to fatherhood, so that we can all work together to support each other instead of competing with each other. This message was intended to heal. It was intended to create intentionality in parenting for both the father and the mother. It was intended to help create a beautiful family, one where there's trust and dependency and interdependency with one another. This message was designed to help us become one not just in the aspect of marriage, but also in the aspect of bringing up children who identify their mother and their father in the home. I pray this blesses you and someone close to you.